We'll go ahead and get started with a praise this morning. Aren't you glad you're here? And glad that we're in a position to start to minister uh, to each other and minister to the Lord this morning. We were, we were singing, we do praise thee, thou hast reigned upon thy, our land. Don't you feel like he has? We do praise thee, thou hast reigned upon our land. The latter and the former has brought forth this corporate land. And the harvest is so glorious, the first fruits now we see. The feast is choice, he has heard our voice, and a new appearing now shall be. We do praise thee, thou hast reigned upon our land. And the former has brought forth this corporate land. And the harvest is so glorious, the first fruits now we see. The feast is choice, we have heard a voice, and a new appearing now shall be. Oh, we. To praise thee, thou hast reigned upon our land. The latter and the former has brought forth this corporate man. Now the harvest is so glorious, the first fruits now we see. The feast is choice. We have heard his voice, and a new appearing now shall be. I 
something that John Gavastoni told me we were talking to I think Bob and me the other evening and we were discussing music and he said I love the old hymns and I appreciated so much what John said in his ministry yesterday morning about the hymn writers being able to say things the theologians would not. And I like the idea because you can say things with music you can't get by with any other way. That's true. You can have an effect with music that you can't have any other way. People will sit and listen to music and they'd shut you off if you stopped the music and just started talking. And so it's so important and I was just glancing at this this morning when I first came in and I thought, wow, who did this? And then I realized it was my writing. (laughs) 
sometimes when we do things in inspiration, it's, it even surprises us. You know. And this song was written in 1707. Just think about this. This was uh, basically 70 years before we declared our independence from England. Written by a man named Isaac Watts. And as I was looking at this, I don't know what brought this song to my attention. I was looking at one, two, three, four, five, six verses. This is not a, a simple chorus. And as I started looking at the song, I started categorizing each verse. And the first verse, I determined revelation. The second verse, humility. The third verse, love. The fourth verse, dead to sin. The fifth verse, commitment. And the sixth verse, praise. And I thought, boy, he put it all together in one song. And you'll recognize this, I'm sure. If you haven't heard it, it's a, it's a classic from the old church. When I survey the wondrous cross On went the Prince of Glory died My riches gain I count but loss and poor content on all my pride. Quite a revelation, you see. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the That charm me most I sacrifice them to his blood. Hear the humility of that. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love. Flow mingled down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet? Or thorns compose so rich a crown? It's love that put in there, you see. His dying crimson like a robe spreads for his body on the tree. Then I am dead to all the globe. I the globe is dead to me. That's death to sin, you see. Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were a present for too small love. So amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. What a commitment. 
to Christ to one for sinners grace by bitter grief and anguish sore be praised from all the ransom race forever and forevermore. Hallelujah. 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 Now we're going to incorporate that into something a little bit more modern. And if you'll allow Charlotte to sit sure. at the piano, sure. Mavis. Mavis is our classical pianist. Now you could tell as she was playing there. Charlotte's country. Yes. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the first time that Mavis came that I will remember. She struggled with our country a little bit. Yeah. And we struggled with her classical a little bit. But we've got better, haven't we? We're doing pretty good. Yeah, that's, uh, it's pretty neat to get the classical and the country to blend together. Not many years ago, I'd say six, seven, eight. I don't know, time passes fast, you know as a young man walked on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. Was on his, I guess it was his first time on the Opry. His name was Josh Turner. And he did this song. And before he finished this song, people were standing. He got a standing ovation. The first time on the Opry. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Clarence, that, that's good, isn't it? I didn't get one. You didn't get one? You didn't get one? I thought I deserved it, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and what is great about this is this song has a tremendous spiritual message. It really talks about uh, there's victory in the Lord, I say. That's yes, the refrain, refrain of the chorus. The name of the song is Long Like Train. We're going to do it for you. <laughs> Coming down the line Feeding off the soul That allow us and die Trails of sin Only misery remains Watch out brother For that long black train But there's victory In the Lord I say Victory In the Lord to the Father and His holy name. Don't go riding on that long black train. Play it, Clarence. There's an engineer on that long black train Making you wonder if the ride is worth the pain He's just waiting for your heart to say Let me ride on that long black train But there's victory in the Lord I say Victory Cling to the Father and His holy name. Don't go riding on that long black. Do it again. 
ahead, Claire. Everybody, yes, there's victory in the Lord, I say, victory in the Lord, cling to the Father and His holy name, don't go riding on that wrong black train. One more time, yes, there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His holy name. Don't go right on that long black train. Yeah, watch out, brother, for that long black train. Cause the devil's a driving that long Black train. Did that just for you, Doc? I feel like I'm back in Oklahoma now. Well, we are what we are. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Mavis, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Charlotte. <laughs> I accept you if you accept me. <laughs> she traveled with us. She and Ron went to California this year. Well, I was happy to have her. Just thrilled. Well, my hubby's a little achy, hurting this morning. He's overdone a little bit. But he wouldn't have had it any other way. Derek tried, and I tried, and Betty halfway tried, and <laughs> he wanted to be here. So he wanted to see everyone, and he's, he's going to have to rest today. But it's a miracle to only be four weeks out of quadruple yeah. bypass, yeah. and he's yeah. been here. And yeah. I think, you know... I always want to say Sister Dawn. I, I don't know sure. you. Sharon. Sure. <laughs> um, I want us to rejoice because Gary mentioned to me when I was coming in this morning the good news that you had. Would you stand? And <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
whatever I get. Anyway, <laughs> whatever Sister Don gets. The beautiful thing to me is that she could not live not for that. Yeah. The family, they do it in pecking order. Who goes in and tells her goodbye? And my daughter was the last one because she was the great niece or whatever she is. That's a cousin. But anyhow, and now before the whole world, around the globe, people are going to see a miracle. Mm-hmm. They had a prayer vigil in the town the other night. We've got another little fifth grader now within the same high school unit in, in, in a little town of 300 kids in a school, but two kids in the high unit in the same one. Mm-hmm. And anyway, so the whole town, and they're having another prayer vigil tonight. I had left out on Facebook. There are people who have responded. I loved him, my little guy. And he came up and prayed and then last night at the church he said he said, I have the name Tasha and Tara. What, what does that mean to you? And I thought, I thought people in this word or something. I think I don't remember anybody named that. And he said, I have those names and I said, Oh, Tasha is her faith is her best friend and has been since childhood. And Tara is a little girl that my mom took to church with Morgan all of her life when she was little. Now, is that a strange thing of what? And, and, and I put it on Facebook. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you know, and I'm getting all these responses. Goosebumps. Double goosebumps. <laughs> We've prayed, uh, Gloria ministered to Nina and Robert Scott on the West Coast and Grace and Frankie Maluski on the East Coast, but I want Karen to come and give praise for it. Just praise the Lord for the ones that we've ministered to this morning. And anything you want to say? Well, you know, I could when they were up there singing that song, that's their theme song. <laughs> uh, I said, Charlotte and Bob, he was saying they had twin scars. They got twin, twin guitars. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I always find humor in things. Uh, but the, isn't the Lord been wonderful in these services? There's such a unity that I have never yes. felt before in any of them. It's just like you just want to surround everybody with love. You just, even if I don't know all of you, I just love you. Love you. (laughs) And it's so wonderful. Every word we've heard, everything has been right on what it's supposed to be. But I want to praise the Lord. Let's all stand and praise the Lord for the prayers he's answered, for the things he's done in every one of us. You're not going to be the same after you leave here. It's going to go on and on and on. Pauline and I were talking in the car last night on the way home, and I said to her, you know, that invasion of that cancer cell, uh, cancer started in one little cell and begin to grow. Every time you come in the presence of the Lord with all these people, they're dying. They're dying. One by one. Just like they happen. And the rest of you going through this, you believe that too. They're dying. They can't stand to be in the presence of the Lord. They're going to die. Those sicknesses and things that have plagued you are going to be gone. Just praise Him for it because He's already doing it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We praise and thank you this morning, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, what you've done in us. The change, the change. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you've gathered your people together here. Hallelujah. Father.
Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are connected as one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you have a hurt, I'm going to have a hurt. If you have a sorrow, I'm going to have a sorrow. Hallelujah. Brenda, don't fear to go back home. God is with you. We're all with you. We will feel our strength, Brenda. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the remainder of this service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. You can be seated. We're going to have Armley and Clarence come. You didn't come over to, well, I, before I got here, did you? <laughs> Better not. <laughs> uh, we love them. Uh, Sid, I, I, I'm so glad you're here. This is our Sid. And the two California ladies turned around right here. Raise your hand. They wanted to know where you were. <laughs> they asked where you were. Now, they live in California. And they knew you weren't here. So I said, you might be here today. Everybody loves you. Amen. <laughs> it's true. Carolyn came in here from the last meeting, and she saw Nancy here. And by the way, Nancy, praise the Lord, you're Amen. here. We're so, glad. We're so glad. Yes. Praise God. She's been quite ill and missed quite a bit. And she's one of our dear ladies. And um, But when they get a DVD and they know it, and Carolyn came in and, she, and Nancy was supposed to have been in the hospital having knee replacement and she hadn't gone. She comes in from California and look, she said to Nancy, what are you doing here? <laughs> and Nancy comes here. <laughs> But it's been so wonderful to get acquainted with everybody. And, and Armelie and Clarence, I can't say enough about them. Uh, they've just been a part of us for, for so many years. Bless them with your... Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm slow but sure. <laughs> the key, <laughs> key of F. <laughs> he's a, thinks he's getting old, but he's not. <laughs> My heart is like a house One day I let the Savior in There are many rooms We would visit now and then
Let me go in your secret place. Then we opened up the door, and as the two of us walked in. gave me that song when I was he was showing me that I didn't get it all the first time <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> thank you Jesus you gonna sing yeah <laughs> in the Q C. There is a place, and it's deep within, and it's been there all the time. There is a place that I've never walked, for my eyes have been too blind. Now is the day, and the time. Yeah. 
Praise God. I get carried away sometimes and can't remember. <laughs> I want to thank everybody that prayed for my voice. Praise the Lord. It's getting stronger and stronger all the time, and I, I just praise God for that. Praise God. Praise I've God. still got many of a song to sing for him. Praise God. <laughs> Believe me, they keep me on my toes. <laughs> Well, our Sid here, I just have to tell you a little bit about him that don't know him. He was Jewish. He's a born again Jew. He loves the Lord. He's spirit filled. You saw him get up, and he's 90. He's 90. And we, I, when he isn't here, I told him, I'm just not very happy that Sunday. <laughs> I'm used to seeing Sid. But we love him. Nancy's. Uh, been, you didn't get to meet her, but she's been out for quite some time with illness, and we're just really thankful, really thankful you're back. Hallelujah. Going to put one song up, and then Ricky and Karen are coming to minister and following them. Uh, I'd like to have Brother Don, Brother and Sister Don. I don't know how you minister, <laughs> but uh, so <laughs> Ricky will set it up real good for you, won't you, Ricky? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you put up living in a place called praise? I told Mike, I said, well, I can't remember the words. And he said, they've got, they'll put it right up there. <laughs> Slay me, 
Arthritis, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not gone. <laughs> Welcome, Ricky and Karen Evans from Mississippi. We love them. We're glad they're here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Them. Well, glory. Yes. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Are we running this race in love? Yes. In Christ's love? Yes. In the love of Jesus Christ? Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Woo, again, I'm just so full. Amen. But I'm full of the joy of the Lord. You know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. And the joy of the Lord is going to help my spirit, my body, Catch up with my spirit. I was telling Paula and Sabrina and different ones when I was greeting them this morning how our bodies get tired. I mean, my spirit is soaring through this weekend, Charlotte and Bob and everyone here. But I tell you what, I want my body to catch up with my spirit. And it is catching up with my spirit, Karen and Gloria. I don't want to call names off, forget somebody. But I tell you what, I just feel the, oh, Lord, the presence of the Lord. Ooh, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Lord, oh, the presence of the Lord is here. I can't make it without His presence. You know, we can do everything we can for this in the natural, for these old bodies, and go to the doctor, not go to the doctor, believe the Lord. But I tell you what. When he swallows me up in his presence, there's no stopping me. There's no stopping us. We're going to go forth. We're going to run this race in Christ's love. It is getting stronger. And Karen said earlier to me, she said, Oh, I just, I, I'm going to begin to miss everybody after today. And we are too. But we're together in spirit. And she said this. She said, Um, you know, if we were together all the time, we may not would appreciate and enjoy each other. I said, no, Jesus is changing that. Because we're going to appreciate and love and enjoy each other more and more. Because we join together by His Spirit. Woo, the great cloud of witnesses, Charlotte. I'm going to try to calm down and sing a song. <laughs> but I've had a nephew and an older sister that has passed away just crossed over. I bind up that word, passed away. Crossed over, Dwayne. Crossed over, hallelujah. With the great cloud of witnesses. They are going to join us. Oh, I see you, Shirley and Jackie. I see you, Stephen. I see those crossed over, Charlotte. They're joining us. We're joining them and becoming one through our 
Oh! 